Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video we are going to break down the Dakota Lithium 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Before we do that I want to talk about a few things. Um, this video series I'm starting with Dakota. I'm breaking down all their batteries. Well up to 23 amp hour maybe 54 we'll see. Um, then I, I'm doing this with all battery lineups different companies. Uh, Amped, Vexlar, um, the Markham battery lineup. I'm even throwing in some generic cheap batteries you can get on Amazon. This is called a Roy Pow. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of these videos and just going over everything. Now, and, and give my opinions on all these batteries. Now, some people were, I, I don't know, kind of pissed off that I started with Dakota. And uh, the reason being is, one, Dakota is the most expensive one. Uh, in this class, they're ten dollars an amp hour, and they really should be the gold standard. So um, it was my intention. Okay, I'm gonna show the best ones first, and this is how everything should be. Unfortunately, it didn't work out like that with the previous video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll post it right here. That's my breakdown of the seven amp hour battery, and uh, did not go well. Now I'm hoping this one. Uh, it goes a lot better. Um, so yeah, only only time will tell. Let's uh, let's let's break it down. Let's void the warranty. So I'm looking at, at this battery here, guys, and I notice this little sticker. Uh, made in China. So these batteries used to be assembled in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Um, I know that because all their Promo guys will get on the uh, social media platforms and boast about made in the USA with a little strong armed guy thing emoji. Looks like they, uh, I guess, moved their manufacturing to China. Uh, so, yeah, not made in the USA anymore. That's kind of disappointing. That was a big selling point, I know, for a lot of people. But it is what it is. Let's see. I got this 23 amp hour back here charging. I haven't even looked at the. Yeah. Main China. So. It is what it is. They are made in China. Just like all the other. Uh, the Markhams, the Vexlars, the Amps. Uh, the cheap. They're all made in China. Let's test this guy out. I got this. Uh, capacity tester. This battery was 99 bucks, 100 bucks, and it's 10, 10 amp hour. So we're going to run this capacity test at a 0.2C draw with a 10 amp hour. That's going to be a 2 amp draw, and that's going to be in line with your higher end fish finders, anyhow. So I just got done capacity testing it, and it turned out. Uh, really well so as far as capacity we've got 10.096 amp hours I did a um, 0.2 C draw on it or 2 amps um, watt hours we got 129.4 watt hours this thing is rated for 120 so great numbers this thing passed it's a uh, initial test, so it's already looking uh, already looking better than the last battery. Uh, these go for a hundred bucks each, so about ten bucks a amp hour. Um, but yeah, let's crack this bad boy open and uh, see what we got. So in my, my last video, I had to get the uh, the cutters out. This looks like a different case, so I'm hoping I can. Um, Pop this one open. Oh, yeah. That's not. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This thing is not as sealed up as the last one. Oh, that's awesome.
that last one, that seven amp hour, was a really a pain in the butt to get into. This one seems really easy. There we go. All right, got that lid loose. So first look, oh, look at that guys. Already, this looks so much better than that 12 amp hour or the uh, seven amp hour. So far, this looks really, really good. I'm really excited about this. First thing I noticed right away, so those cells, not only do they have, um, they, they've got this, this extra insulation, which is great because when you have cells in series, they have different voltages. And the previous battery and the seven amp hour battery, those cells were, were touching, just the heat shrink around the, the cells were, um, so the, there wasn't much of a barrier between those different uh, volt, voltages, different cells that had different voltages. Where these have insulation around those those cells, so that's right off the bat. That's huge, huge improvement. No caulk. There's no bathroom caulk in here, um, which is it. Uh, the caulk is more pain in pain in the butt when you're taking it out, but um, yeah, this is this is uh, so much better than the last battery. So it looks like it'll just come out. It feels loose. Oh yeah, look at that, that comes right out. Okay, once again, uh, balance leads. They've got like a little dab of caulk on the side. That's the only caulk I see here, but it's not like enough that would hold that in if this got, you know, jarred loose. So it looks like they tried, they just, I don't know, missed it. All right, let's look at these balance leads. So what I, I really like, they've got all this, this tape under here. And I think, they did a better job. They didn't do a, a great job of separating these out, but they did do a better job. You got one that crosses here. Um, you don't want these balance leads to cross, crisscross each other. You want to kind of keep them separate. And this temperature probe was taped down to the cells, which is exactly what you want. You don't want it up in here where the BMS is, is located because that BMS is going to give off heat and that could uh, not give you an accurate temperature reading. So these, these cells here, how these are configured, this is a 4S 3P configuration. These three, and these three, and those three, and these three are parallel with each other. So that's gonna increase your capacity when you wire them in parallel. Now with this cell, just think of this as one cell right here. These three are in series with this cell which is in series with that cell, which is in series with that cell. That's going to give you your 12.8 volts. So that's going to increase your voltage. I really, really like this battery pack. The craftsmanship in this is, 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 is great. Um, obviously, different, different guy building these packs. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just speculating here about the the seven amp hour. Uh, but yeah, I mean it's it's obvious this is way better. It kind of makes me want to take go buy a new seven amp hour, one that's made in China, and tear it apart. Um, and I think I might do that. I think I might give it the seven hour a second go. Go buy a brand new one, and uh, and tear it apart. Because I bet you it's going to look like this, which should be the gold standard.
in my opinion, of how you build a pack. So let's uh, let's get this temperature probe tested. I'm gonna get some water, some ice water cooling down. We're gonna put a charge on it. And what we wanna see is we wanna see that charger cut off. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put my meter in series with the charger on the battery. Now you can see we're charging at a rate of 2.35 amps, okay? Now what we wanna see is when I put this um, thermometer temperature probe into the uh, icy water, we wanna see that drop out to zero. That would it, that current drop out to zero, that would indicate we are no longer charging. Temperature in here, 24 degrees. Uh, we're still we're still charging. That must be a hot, a high temperature uh, protection circuit. So, um, yeah, that's a little little disappointing. That's the only only mark against this battery that I can give it. I'm not gonna tear open the, uh, the insulation yet. I'm not going to tear open this insulation um, because I really don't care what kind of cells they are or their, their rating. It doesn't matter because that wasn't the um, object of the, the video. What I cared about was this battery performing like it should and the build quality. So, um, heck, I'm just going to... I didn't ruin the case at all. So, I'm just going to put this back in here and use it. The only bad thing I can say about this battery was it was really easy to get it out of the case. Um, they obviously don't do, um, in their China Chinese facility, they don't do as good of a job sealing these batteries up. So if you have a, um, water, water issues, uh, I know those older batteries, um, they'd be able to, to hold the water out. So, earlier when I said it looks like they had a little bit of caulk on here, but it's not really caulked uh, as far as the balance lead plug right there. I was just putting this battery back together. I noticed a bunch of caulk in there, smeared up there. So I think what they actually did was they actually did caulk it, and then while it was wet, the assembly guy put in, yeah, because look, there's caulk right here on that positive lead. So I just smeared all the caulk off. This uh, this battery pack takes every little bit of room in the case. Even the, even the spot welding on this pack looks better. Uh, on that 7 amp hour, they had only 4 spot welds. Here you have 6. Some cells on here have have eight spot welds. So I mean that, this nickel strip isn't going anywhere. So here's that seven amp hour I, I tore down in the last video. Um, and pretty much was, if you haven't watched it yet, I, I pretty much was not happy with almost everything about this pack. This 10 amp hour has, uh, has changed my mind. I was really worried it looked like this inside that 10 amp hour. Thank goodness it doesn't. These cells look like they're the same size. Uh, 20, 26, 650s. But I'm not gonna take this protective coating off. This is, yeah, I could not be more relieved to know that, you know, they have improved their processes. So, my thoughts on it. If you have a Dakota Lithium battery that was not made in China, your, your pack is, 
is is probably not as well built. I just have two samples here. Um, one built in Grand Forks, the other one in China, and they are hands down completely um, different quality craftsmanship builds. So very, um, yeah, very surprised and excited that this battery build is so, so good. Professionally built pack. Solder joints look great. Everything on here looks great. Balance leads could be done a little bit better, but I'm not really going to nitpick at that. Um, they did a decent job. They're sewing that cross, but that could be better. Be interesting to see how uh, the 11 year warranty works out with these uh, these packs build, built in Grand Forks because um, these just are not good packs. So they might have a warranty issue on their hands in the later years. We'll see. But if you got something out of this video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. Make sure you check out these other videos because I'm going... I've got uh, battery reviews. I'll be doing a whole bunch of battery reviews. Pretty much every battery I get my hands on, I'm going to crack it open and give you my opinion on it. Thanks for watching, guys.